Okay, so today I'm just going to show you how to use some of the smart components on Robot Studio. So I've imported this Smart Gripper Servo Fingers uh, from the library and I've just attached it then to, to my robot. So the first thing you need to do on this is you need to create some poses. So if you disconnect it from the library, if it's not done so already, and then click on Modify Mechanism. And from here then you can just simply hit Add and then you can add, you can add the poses as you wish. Okay, so I already have two in there, so I'll just leave it at that for now. So the next thing we need to do is that we need to add the actual smart component itself. So if you click on smart component in the modeling tab, it'll bring up this menu. Just click on add component. From there, I'll just go to manipulators and we'll go to pose mover. So this moves the joints of a mechanism to a predefined pose. So that's what we want. So in the properties, we're going to select our tool. We're going to select the pose that we want and the duration. So I'm going to set it for one second. You can leave it at zero if you wish. Click zero, and we will add a second one now for the closed position. And it close. Okay, so if you just go into this design, you can see that we have our poses here. So what we need to do is we need to create some digital inputs here and we need to connect these to these. So if we go and click on that and digital input and we'll call that DI underscore, we'll call this close. The signal value don't matter. You don't need a description, but I'll just put one in. Click OK and we'll add another one. DI open open gripper and click OK so you can see that you can drag these out um, it's a little bit slow so we'll just do it this way so if you click go into signals and connections and click on add IO connection. You can just see DI close here, go to gripper closed and execute and do the same for the open one. So DI open, gripper open and execute. You can see that the inputs we created earlier up there so if we go to design now we can see that it's connected just the way we want. So what we want to do is we want to trigger them by an output from the system. So to create an output, we quite simply go to Controller, Configuration Editor, and I/O System. Right-click on Signal and New Signal. We'll call this and we'll call it Gripper Open. Make it a digital output and access level to all. Click OK. This will just ask us to restart, so we'll, we'll do that in one moment. So again, signal, right click, new signal, and gripper closed. Again, it's a digital output, access level set to wall, and click OK. OK, so now we can restart the controller. So click restart, it's a warm restart, and click OK. So we just wait for this to load for a couple of seconds. Okay, so now it's connecting back up. So if you go to this simulation tab again, and we can go to station logic. Okay, and from here we can go to signals and connections and we can add our digital put in here. So if we go to system one as a source object and select gripper open, and this is going to go to our smart component and we want that to go to DI open. Hit OK and we'll do the same then for the close. So system one close smart component and close. So if you go into our design here, auto arrange, you can see that 
gripper open will trigger digital input open and gripper closed will trigger digital input closed okay so that's perfect and we can we can check that now on simulation by going to IO simulator view we'll change this to digital output and gripper closed we'll close it and if you watch it again gripper open will open okay so that's doing everything we wanted to do so far so the next thing we need to do is we need to actually attach this object so the gripper can grab it and, and move it to wherever we want to go so if you go back into the smart component tab that you have and go to signals uh, sorry go to compose and again go to add component this time so what you want to do is you want to go to actions and add an attacher so in the properties you select your servo fingers uh, this was auto populated you don't need to change that and you don't need to fill it in if it's blank either and child then is our part so I to call that lego and hit apply and we'll do the same then with a detacher so this will only ask us for the child this is Lego and hit apply and then if we go to our signals and connections go to add IO connection so what we want is when it's closing grip or closed here so if we go to grip or closed and we want that to attach the object hit OK and we do the same again so when it's opening we want that to detach the object and click OK so if you go into our design you can see digital close will, will go in here and detach it's not quite clear right now. that's clear now so you see it will go into grip or closed come out of grip or closed and attach Okay, so let's go to our home um, paths and targets. So I created some paths earlier, so now we just need to add the, the triggers in from. So we'll do that now. So if you right click on path, go to insert action instruction. So what we need to do is we need to set and reset. So, like we're doing over here with the digital outputs, we need to set them to one and to zero. So, set digital output grip or close as one do the same set it to zero and we'll add some gripper open now one and gripper open to zero and I'm just gonna add in some wait times here so Second, okay. So we want the robot to move to our target. When it moves to our target, we want it to pick it up. So close the gripper, set that to one. We'll wait there for a second, just give it time to close move home, we'll move back down to our target, we will reset grip or closed, we will then close the grip, open the gripper and then reset that, we'll wait there for one second before we go home and I'll synchronize this to rapid now. Go to our simulation tab and click on play. Okay, so you can see that didn't detach the object. So let me check and see what happened there.
Okay, so walk that time. I, I didn't really change that, and I'll just run it one more time just to see. Okay, there we go. So any questions, just drop me a comment below, and that's it. Thanks.